Hi everyone, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to create the bottle template. Now we're starting with bottles because this is going to be the easiest lesson probably out of all of this entire course because the bottle is actually not that complicated as far as the label that you're designing. So we're starting with that to get you thinking about designing in a 3D space and the actual design principles that you're using are very relevant to all of my print design courses here. So we're going to start slowly and then amp up into a more complicated template. So when it comes to the bottle, there are so many different shapes and sizes to this, but you are thinking in a cylinder type space typically. So it's not necessarily a square or a rectangle that you're designing for with a bottle. You may though be designing for that if you have, for example, perfume. But in this case, we are sticking to a moisturizer. So we have an odd shaped for our bottle, but it is going to be not perfectly flat as in square. However, the label that we design is, and this is where it gets a little tricky because you're thinking of a not so rectangle space, but the label that you actually design is a rectangle. And as long as you design with that in mind, you'll be okay. You really need to pay attention to how far things go to the edge in this case because you're thinking of it wrapping around something versus just laying flat. So we are going to use InDesign for this project. I am using InDesign CC. You are more than welcome to use any version that you have. Most of my courses here are very adaptable to early programs as well. So let's go ahead and open up InDesign and get started here. So we're going to create a new document. Now, this, like I said, is going to be the easiest setup out of our entire templates here. And we're going to create a blank template. And then I encourage you to save that template. And then we're going to use that template to create our label moving forward. Now, when it comes to sizes of bottles, this is something that you're going to want to grab bottles because I had three to choose from, varying from one ounce all the way up to four ounces. And the sizes of these bottles differ. Therefore, the label will differ as well. So I settled on a two ounce bottle. And just so you know, a two ounce bottle can also vary in size. So this is not going to be a standard template for you, rather something to get you started with thinking about packaging design. And the best thing that you can do is use what's already out there as a guide for you if you have a project that's not a standard. So with that in mind, with our two ounce bottle that I had, we came up with a label of two inches by 3.75 inches. So something very kind of tall and narrow. And with that in mind, we also need a bleed. Now, I always design with a bleed, even if I don't end up using the bleed, it's just easier to think of using a bleed and then having to add it later into your design. So it's just a good habit. I have preview checked so I can see what I'm doing. And because we have a small document, I'm going to go ahead and bring out my margins so I have a little bit more space. So we end up with something like this. Okay, so now it's time to get going on our design. Now, when you're thinking of a bottle, there are so many different designs to this, and you can have something extremely simple all the way to something very extravagant. But if you look at actual cosmetic bottles, specifically moisturizers, some of the higher end ones are very simplistic as far as their design goes. So keep that in mind as you're working on your designs and thinking of, you want, of what you want to have. Don't go overboard when you're just starting out. And when we move into the next lesson, you're going to see exactly how elegant a simple design can be and how not going overboard with patterns and things like that really make your design stand out even better than you think. So before we move on to the design part, we need to think one more thing here. We have one page for our label, but we're going to want to go ahead and add another page to our label because we're going to design a front and a back to our bottle. Therefore, we have two different pages for that when we print out our label. And this is going to be the intro version of this. If you wanted to make this more advanced, you would actually design a label that wraps around your bottle. So you would be designing that on one page, but we are going to work with a simple label today and we're going to be designing our front and back on two separate pages. So you're going to want to go ahead and save this here when you're ready to go and save this for your bottle as a template so that you can use that blank template again and again and then you're ready to go for creating your next bottle. In the next lesson, we're going to start designing the front of our bottle.